When we arrived to campus this morning, our school had experienced substantial vandalism during the night. The message from principal to parents followed this 911 call. They smashed the slushing machine, there's soda cans everywhere. That's just what the cafeteria workers saw. There was plenty more. Smashed windows, computer labs tossed. So much damage in four to five buildings, 200 students did their classwork in either the gym or auditorium. It's going to cost thousands to repair all of the damage. Delay and police are investigating how the vandals got in, what they used to break all the glass in the middle of the night. There's video surveillance at the school and it's being reviewed to see if it can be released. We had to all go to the the, um, the gymnasium because our my building and other buildings were vandalized. Students are disgusted parents as well. It's sad to know that people would actually do that when students are trying to learn and school just started. Most importantly, there's no danger. There is no danger to our students or staff. No one is suggesting there was any larger threat. School went on while cleanup and repairs were made. And back live now again, one of the two places where students took class today because their rooms were damaged was the auditorium. It's actually possible, but because the damage was so extensive, they may still have to use the auditorium and the gym tomorrow. That's yet to be determined. And again, investigators are still trying to determine exactly how many suspects they're looking for. Reporting live in Deland, Volusia County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.